I'm Ashley Fish, a watercolour artist and surface pattern designer from New Zealand. Today I want to show you how you can use PNGs like this one here to create a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. This means that you can bring your watercolours in, you can bring in motifs like this one that I've made in Procreate. You don't need to learn Photoshop but it is a little bit different in Illustrator to if it is vector. So I have simply drag and dropped this PNG, which means it has a transparent background, into Illustrator. It's got this X on it, which means it hasn't been embedded yet. So we're going to go up and do that, which is just up here, click Embed. And then we are going to create a pattern. So we'll go up to Window and open up Pattern Options, click the Hamburger menu and Make Pattern and you will see that it has already made a pattern for us really quickly. We can then play around in this menu here to see what kind of pattern we like best, what you think looks best. Like this one here is all overlapping a little bit, so you, what you can do is you can change the width and height a little bit to uh, fit it in. I quite liked the hex by column there, I think that looks quite cute. So I am going to press done and then we're going to in our pattern swatch section over on the right drag the pattern out. So this is where it can get a little bit tricky because you can't do all of the color edits and things like that like you would normally be able to with a vector file but if we have a look here this rectangle here that is the pattern boundary. So what we need to do is we need to select that so that we can turn it into an artboard and save it. So what we can do is double click on it. Sometimes it will do this and kind of select the, the PNG. So if that's happening to you, just select the whole group and come over here into your layers panel and you'll see this group here. Press the down arrow and scroll to the bottom and you'll see this one here that's empty that's this box here. So to be able to save a pattern you need to have an empty box there. Just click it twice until the blue line is showing up just on this box which is showing just this bit here and what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate it. So now we have got two and we need to turn one of them into an artboard which I have a shortcut for, but if you don't have the shortcut, it might actually be easier to pop a colour on it first. So we'll duplicate it again. And then what we can do, it's still selected, is we can choose a colour. So scroll around until you find a colour that you like. I'm going to go with this light blue colour here. And then I will see if I can pop over into this artboard bit here and I will hover it in this corner and just drag it the same size and there we go it's made an artboard so we didn't actually need that one there we'll delete that so we've got the clear one underneath and the blue one on top here so we'll go and we can save this pattern drag it over and I'm going to press M for marquee and make a square and click the pattern just to double check that it has worked. We've got no white lines or anything like that. You can actually see I've got a little mistake on my PNG file here so I would need to fix that up if I was going to use this pattern properly. Now the next thing is this blue area here which we can't actually click into needs to be a little bit bigger than the artboard to be able to save it without getting a white line. So again we'll just go into this layers panel and we can click this and press S for scale, drag it a little bit bigger and then it is ready to save. So you can upload this to Spoonflower, you can send this to companies that want to license your patterns, all that sort of thing. Just a little bit different to creating it with vectors but a really really easy way to create nice simple patterns from your PNGs that you have either hand painted or created in Procreate and all that sort of thing. I hope that has been helpful. Before I go I want to share with you that I have a whole heap of free surface pattern design resources for artists like you. You can find these on my website ashleyfish.com. I've got all of these ones here. I am always adding new ones in 
at the moment the most popular ones are the Vectorize Your Watercolour and Creative Pattern in Adobe Illustrator. We have got Digitize Your Watercolour and Creative Pattern in Photoshop and of course my Licensing and Pitching Calendar which makes it really easy to know when to create different kinds of art and when to pitch it. So head on over and sign up. I will link this below and see you next time.